Um, and uh, I've been going to the conversion class since uh, October, but I've been living like as much Torah as I can within reason for like, I don't know, since like 2011. But I just decided to go through the conversion last October. Mm -hmm. I actually first converted conservative and then I converted Orthodox. From the beginning, I was converting Orthodox, but it was taking so long. Mm. I said, in the meantime, I might as well take these conversion classes in the conservative synagogue, which is a lot more organized. And I'll tell you, the conservative conversion is more recognized than an Orthodox conversion, just because there's no dispute. An Orthodox conversion today, accepted today, may not be accepted tomorrow. <laughs> it's true. But there's people who made Aliyah with rabbis who were on the list, and then 10 years on the road, that rabbi has a falling out with the Rabbanut, and they are no longer eligible for Aliyah. It's the stupidest thing. It's crazy. Well, if you make Aliyah with a conservative conversion, conservative conversions run out of the rabbinical assembly. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty organized. Now, clearly the Rabbanut doesn't accept them in Israel, but the Sochnut does, the Jewish agency does. That means you mm -hmm. can make Aliyah with the certificate they gave you after your conversion. Right, right. Um, just because they're a lot more organized than the Orthodox are. The Orthodox Jews are always trying to outdo themselves. To, to yeah. be primitive and to be backwards is to be more religious. Yeah. But regarding the conservative movement, to give you a little background on it, actually, the conservative movement started out as an Orthodox movement, right? JTS, the Jewish Theological Seminary, was a school which would be more aligned to what we consider modern Orthodoxy today. I mean, even the whole Young Israel organization was started out by JTS grads, right? but the major split was in the mid-50s when they ruled that one was allowed to drive to show of one had no other means of transportation. And in this ruling, it was only to go to the closest shul. But everything else was kept the same from at least a halakhic level back then. Now, for sure, nowadays, they've moved more to the left. My advice to people is to acquire an Orthodox conversion. However, if someone has no other choice, it is better to join a conservative show and even possibly convert conservative than to remain with nothing, no community, no religious spiritual outlet. But when you are there, your level of observance should be up to what is considered Orthodox standard. So yes, if you could walk to shore or at least possibly ride a bike there, do so. All that being said, I really don't encourage reform in any way because at least in a conservative show, you know that you will always get kosher food. And when you go, you'll actually be surprised how many kosher Torah observers you'll find there. Many who consider themselves more conservadox. Okay, no machitza, giving women aliyot, cutting women in a minyan, and even women rabbis. Although I don't endorse such ideas, there is actually nothing against actual halaha with these practices. And don't get me wrong, I do think that the separation of these sexes is very important, but it's not against what's actually brought down by Chazal. Mm -hmm. 